What's up guys, Zulu here as part of the Genetic Geeks and we are back once again with Back to the Future by Telltale Games. This is episode 3, titled Citizen Brown. So let's jump straight into a new game. And yes, once again we do get the pop-up. Yes, show goals. Let's crack on with this, shall we, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so here we go, and we have crashed into a big billboard, and we are stuck inside the DeLorean, and we have a delinquent rock chicker, rock, rocker chick, fucking, I can't speak at all. Don't right. worry, everybody, I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. Right, so what can we do in here, huh? Well, that's got her attention hell? anyway. Hey, could you give me a Jennifer? Oh, that's Jennifer. Okay, cool. Um, maybe not. Okay. Uh, right, can we talk to her now? This is the dumbest design ever. Jennifer, I need some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? Uh, yes it is. Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? Haha. <laughs> Very funny. So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. Uh, right, what's the date? Oh man, what's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986, duh. Oh man, oh man, this can't be happening. Jennifer, you look so different. That's the general idea of being a nonconformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? Uh, you it what are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. Well, it has what you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. Right, okay. Never mind, I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. Uh, so what are you doing? What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. You help me down. Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? Um, 
Okay, open the, the door. door's jammed. Can you get it open? I can't reach it. Besides, I'm not climbing under the car. It could come down on my head. She makes a good point. Could you call someone? A tow truck, maybe. Get real. I'm in enough trouble already. I'm not going to explain your DeLorean violating a billboard to anyone. You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. Tire iron. Tire iron. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my whatchamacallit. What do you give me for it? Uh, may I have the tire iron? May I please have the tire iron? The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. Oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Ugh. Oh. Um. Jennifer, please. This is serious. This tire thing really has some value to you, huh? At the moment, yes. Then it better be a pretty good trade. <laughs> So, how can we... Right, okay. Alright, let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Um, so the door won't open. <clears throat> it's jammed. And... We can talk to Jennifer, which is doing absolutely nothing for us. We can do the horn. Um, but it sounds like that has now died as well. Um, ah. Right, yeah, obviously she wants us to trade. She's a delinquent, so possibly the flask might work. And that's pretty much all we've got anyway, so we'll try the flask. Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give it here. Well, there shouldn't be anything in it because it was empty in the last episode. Uh, smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks! Oh, great. Now what? Oops. Oh. Well, at least we got out of the car. So, big as the question of how we're going to get down from there. Oh. Luckily, well, there was a your ladder. Darkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? It doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Yeah, like she was ever gonna let us do that. Through, McFly. I'll never get such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Jesus, could this get any worse? Whoa, whoa, whoa! That would be the end of the DeLorean. Looks like we're pretty much screwed and stuck in this timeline now. Doc, I could really use your help right about now. Relax! We've got everything under control. Uh, right, okay. So, let's have a wander over here. What we got? Can we just climb over it? How the hell do you get through these? I guess try the box then. Uh, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Who is this? Stop messing with the intercom. Oh, haha, <laughs> hi. Can you buzz me in? Visitors must check in at the north gate. Oh, north gate? I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's got to be another way. Right, so he's not doing that at all. Um, right, what's the deal with this wheel spinning? 
Well, at least one of the hover wheels work. Um. Okay, so tire iron on the wheel. Okay, good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. Now, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. Huh. Okay. Dead. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... Well, that's not good. What have we got in here that can be of any use? 31 newspaper, 86 newspaper, and then a picture of that. Absolutely nothing. And it's not letting me do anything with the wheel. Well, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. Um, okay, wall? These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? Apparently so. And I can't do anything with the wheel, and I can't do anything with the bloody DeLorean. Um, there's nothing in here, is that I can... I don't know, use that on the wheel? I don't know. It's better if I keep this on me at all times. Yeah, that was a bit of a long shot. Well, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. And can't I just reconnect them? There's absolutely nothing to click on over here. Um, tell you what, let's go around this way. Can we get to the this part of the car? There we go. I don't really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. Maybe it's still under warranty. Well, I guess technically it's way under warranty. Um, battery. Aha, uh -huh, okay, connect the battery to the... 12 volts. ...to the wheel. This is the car battery? It uh, must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. Awesome. Right. So now, with the battery on the wheel. Yes? Let's see here. Red to positive. Excellent. Black to negative. Whoa! Far out. Oh, it goes over the wall. It's okay, all we Doc. Needed. Let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clubs. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. Right, so what are we walking into? There's lots of orange t-shirts. You could be a Citizen Plus. In the Hill Valley Bureau of Discipline. Okay. I guess this is what Jennifer meant by conformists. It's so, so clean. Good morning, citizen. Good morning to you too, citizen. So you have been brainwashed or something. And why is like intercoms everywhere? As well, there's a couple on the two lamp posts there. There's one on in the middle of the park. What's going on here, Doc? Camera as well. I just noticed on that statue in the centre. Hey, there's another camera. 
Like this place is overly policed. It's ridiculous. Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt. Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. Hmm. Nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Yeah, so every citizen has to wear a uniform and an ID tag. What the hell? Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. Heavy. Okay. Right, we'll put the hey, pat what's down. with the pat down? What do you think? I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble gum peanuts. Is illegal. Come on, McFly. Dogs are You're illegal? smart enough really? to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Since when this is when you a cop. I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great, I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. Okay. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. Right, so... Explore this brave new hill valley and we have to try and find Doc. So let's have a... Run... Where was the... There was an intercom somewhere. I could press to talk. There it is. Right, let's do this one. Courthouse. How may I help you, citizen? I need to Is see that, Doc. Or, uh, citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds That's, familiar. Yeah, it's Edna Strickland. It has to be. So obviously her and Emmett not going to the cinema got together and have ended up creating this. Biff? Yeah, even Biff's conforming in the rules. There's... Doc? Yeah. What the hell's going on? Doc, wait! I need to talk to... ...you. Right, okay. Uh, why can't we just go that way? That is so stupid. Right, uh, we need to talk to Biff, surely, seems like he's now in the scenario, shall we call it? Um, right, Biff, where the hell are there he is? Biff? Hey, you're, you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? What the hell's the Citizen Plus program? What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? A re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Okay. Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! Ah, Doc! That should be his new nickname! But, yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. 
Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real butthead. <laughs> right, I don't case? see why that would make you a special case. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble, what with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Yes, I uh, Yeah. Me. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. So basically, if we cause a lot of shit, we can go and have a chat with Doc. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I really don't like dredging up the past. But, alright, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. Uh, illegal you said cookies. something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. There's no booze so there's in Hill no booze in Hill Valley. Nope. Sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch them sooner or later. Right, okay. Fish Why'd your dogs? dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing, other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very <laughs> ashamed. Okay, so the no dogs uh, are illegal women. What kind of trouble did you get into I'm with guessing. women? They weren't hookers? Huh. No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. What? The public public displays, displays of affection, affection Martin. Yeah. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. Right, okay, so we need to get some booze, we need to find a dog, and we need to fuck Jennifer in the park. Yeah, let's let's change the and subject. That isn't a euphemism before we like talking about my before old you jump down self. that track. Um Right, so nice clothes. Nice clothes. You lose a bed or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone's wearing. It's polo shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah. Well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian shirt Friday. Great. That sounds cool. <laughs> uh, right, okay. So. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin. Don't think we need to speak to him anymore. There we are. Jennifer's now turned up with what looks like an ammo case from Fallout. What's Jen up to now? Right, let's go and follow her and find out, shall we? There we go. Oh, doing a bit of spray painting. Alright, so we got junk, we got brick doorways. Let's check all this stuff out first before we do anything else. They've bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy. Right, so we can't do anything with the ladder, can't do anything with that. Um, door? What can we do with this? Pick up and delivery. Locked. Okay. There's uh, nothing else lying around there. All this junk over here. That junk looks awfully familiar. Fifty years familiar. Okay. Uh, it is an ammo box from Fallout. Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. Now maybe Jennifer can help me out. Yep, okay. Last but not least, let's talk to her. Jen! You got a problem? Yeah, bitch. 
What's the deal, Jennifer? You left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Yes, go ahead. I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kinda like you like this. Oh, uh, Barf? You act like I'm a turnoff, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. Basically, she wants a bad boy. You going out with someone else? I bet I can make you forget it. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. Thanks. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me. Unless you want this spray can up your... No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? Uh, well, you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. Okay. PDF? This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favorite legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! Oh, that's protesting. This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest. That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss in. Let's not, and say we did. Uh, right, so I'm looking for dangerous animals. What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Oh, lighten up. And isn't, isn't graffiti, graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two demerit offense. Go fig. Okay. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Um. Leech and the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Uh, can I borrow some paint? Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. Okay, what do you think of the other me? Uh, you check out Biff Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted. Which is why I'm gonna stay clear of it. Okay. Uh, what do you think of the so, other me? Jennifer. Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. Fair enough. Uh, right, I have a Bill plan. Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. Right. That's gonna be the end of that Your conversation. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! <laughs>